Namaskar everyone. Today we will see how we can control an LED using triple five timer. Triple five timer has eight pins. The eight pins are ground, trigger pin, output pin three, reset pin four, control pin five, threshold pin 6, discharge pin 7, and VCC pin 8. On the periphery of this 555 timer, there are resistances R1, R2, and R3, and capacitances C1 and C2, and battery P1, and of course, an LED. When these electronic elements are connected in this fashion, a square pulse gets generated at output three. Frequency of this square pulse is dependent upon the resistances R1, R2, and the capacitance C1. The Amplitude of the square pulse is 5 volts. This slide gives the time of high time of the pulse, which is given by 0.693 into bracket start R1 plus R2 bracket close into C1 in seconds. Low time is given as 0.693 into R2 into C1, where R1, R2, and C1 are the resistances and the capacitances shown in this circuit. Similarly, this is the formula for time period and frequency and the duty cycle of uh, the square pulse. Now, let us see how we can uh, simulate this. Uh, circuit on uh, Tinkercad. So we'll start with, we'll start fresh. So first of all, we'll take one breadboard. place it here and then we'll take the timer triple five and place it here we'll take one battery and one led let us place the led Now, let us make the connections. We'll give negative of the battery to the topmost row and connect it like this. Right. Now the ground pin we will keep on this capacitor also somewhere here. Okay. Now the ground pin uh, let us connect it to the ground here and VCC and reset pin, they have to be connected to five volts. Okay. 
and also trigger and threshold they have to be shorted so this is trigger and this is threshold so let us short the two yes now let us place the resistance r1 between uh, discharge and vcc so discharge is here and vcc is here and let us take its value as 1k 1k is fine now another resistance <clears throat> 100k this we will place between discharge and threshold so this is discharge and this is threshold so we have to put between these two So we have put between discharge and threshold. And one capacitance has to be put between, between trigger. So here is the trigger. And ground. So between trigger and ground, we have put this capacitance of 10 microfarad. Another, <coughs> another resistance we have to put between control and ground. Right. this end of LED has to be connected to the output and this end to the ground. So we have connected two resistances and two capacitances. I think now we can run the simulation. So you can see that LED has started blinking. 
Now, since here uh, we are getting a warning that the current in this LED is exceeding the limit. So we can put one resistance to limit the current. So for doing that, let us take a resistance from here. Now let us run the simulation. So LED is blinking and we are not getting the warning signal also. So this is how we can uh, control blinking of LED using triple five timer.